how do you wrap a round greenhouse dome with a square poly sheet? In this video, I'm gonna show how I covered a metal conduit geodesic dome with six mil poly and made it look tight and look right without sewing or gluing the plastic sheet. Simple Tech, that's the name of this channel. And we have piles of other videos on greenhouses and growing you should check out. In this video, I'm gonna cover my metal conduit greenhouse with a double layer sheet of UV plastic and inflate it with an air blower. This video is a sequel in a series of videos I've made where I'm building a metal conduit frame geodesic dome greenhouse from scratch on a budget. This is the long awaited greenhouse covering video. I'm gonna go over how I cut the main plastic sheet, added the furring strips, put the plastic on the dome, trimmed and secured the plastic and then added the blower. Everything done here is simple, as the channel name suggests, and I'm doing this on a budget, as cheap as possible for a quality greenhouse. I'm no carpenter, so if I can do this, you can do this. Let's get started. The first thing you gotta worry about when putting plastic on a metal conduit dome is sharp edges. The solution, tuck tape. I taped the bejeebers out of every single joint so that nothing on the joint will catch the plastic. It's pretty simple to do. Tape's cheap and it seems to work. The next step is to use what I like to call a furring strip. Basically, it's a thin piece of wood that I secure to the base of the greenhouse that I'm gonna use to wedge the plastic between another piece of wood just like it. This acts to secure the plastic in enormous amounts of wind and pressure and it keeps a nice even amount of pressure on the plastic all the way around the dome. It actually surprised me how well it worked. As you can see, one of the things I did was I used two drills. One drill had a drill, the other had a drill bit. So I pre-drilled my holes. The furring strips aren't very big and pre-drilling your holes on a piece of wood like this really helps to prevent cracking. I bought my plastic direct from China, six mil and a lot of it. Not just enough for this greenhouse, but I plan to do another 800 square foot greenhouse after this one. So I bought enough plastic to cover both. This dome is only 200 square feet, so there's enough plastic here to cover a thousand square feet of greenhouse twice, as I'm using a double air inflated dome. So here I am slicing away, opening up the package that came from China. I don't really know what those flags were, but. The first thing I did was stretch out the plastic. I mean, you gotta know what you're dealing with before you can deal with something. I had a lot of space. The problem was there was a lot of wind that day. So it was kind of difficult working by myself as the plastic acts as a sail. But I did pretty well in getting it stretched out. Next, of course, I doubled up the plastic. Once again, I had to fight with the wind, but when you install the plastic, if you have it doubled up, it makes it so much easier to install it into the furring strips, have everything tight and put the air blower on it. So that's what you see me doing here. Dragging the plastic over the dome wasn't that difficult. I used a couple friends and we got it set up and uh, ready to be cut and put the furring strips on it. That being said, when you look at the plastic and you put a square sheet over a round dome, you're going to have a lot of excess. The beautiful part about using an air blower is that the air blower will take up all the slack on this excess. So all I really had to concern myself with was covering the dome, making sure that I had enough plastic to go over the outside furring strip area to secure all the plastic to the greenhouse 
after that, I just trim everything below and uh, away we go. Here you're going to see me putting the second furring strip on. The first furring strip is under the plastic. This is the second one that goes over top of the plastic and it butts up to the first furring strip. Now, the beautiful part about this is that it actually creates an enormous amount of even stable pressure on the plastic so it won't tear. The big thing you got to watch out for, and you'll see me doing here, is I pre-drill my holes. These furring strips are pretty thin and if you don't pre-drill your holes, the screws are going to break the wood and you're going to have nothing but problems if that happens. But by taking a moment to pre-drill your holes, they hold incredibly strong and it's amazing how well this worked even in the highest winds. No fancy tools here, just an old X-Acto knife to cut the plastic. It's actually amazing how easy it cuts with a sharp blade and you just simply run around the whole greenhouse and trim it up to uh, proper specs and you're done. wanted to show the difference in the wind of what happens with the greenhouse when you don't inflate it. So we had about a 25 to 30 mile an hour wind the day that I put this up. And after it was trimmed with the double plastic, you can see what's happening with the wind. The plastic is just blowing around everywhere. And I honestly believe that if I left it like this, it would tear itself to pieces because of the constant tearing and ripping the wind provides on it. You can hear the wind and the plastic move in the background and it's not appealing to actually work in something that's moving this much. The beautiful part is once we put the blower on it later, it is night and day what happens. It's almost like magic. air blowers. Now the proper air blowers on Amazon or eBay are running 150 to 200 bucks. But what I did was I had an old Christmas lawn ornament, Frosty the Snowman, and I cannibalized him. He worked with an air blower and I think originally I probably paid about $50 for him, but I mean he's been in my garage for years. The air blower looked in absolute perfect shape and I know it worked for months keeping this Frosty fully inflated in my yard. So after cannibalizing it, I put the air blower on the greenhouse. And guess what? It worked perfect. Everything was hard, fully inflated, and none of the folds mattered. I was totally impressed. Now here you can see as I hit the greenhouse fully inflated in a 25 to 30 mile an hour wind and the greenhouse is completely stable there's no movement no flapping i couldn't have asked for a better situation than how this turned out In summary, I think using an air blower and double inflated plastic is the best and cheapest way to cover a metal conduit geodesic dome greenhouse. Yes, you need power to run the air blower, but not a lot of power. It could run from a small solar array and battery if off grid is your goal. For me, I just plugged it into the house. The next step is to make working vents and a radiant heat concrete floor on top of the insulation you saw in the greenhouse. I'm hoping to have that working in the next few weeks. Simple Tech, we've got tons of videos on growing in greenhouses. Take the time to check these out. You'll be glad you did.